After 17 years of hibernating, some tri-staters say the latest cicada brood is surfacing in some counties. Glad to have you with us tonight. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Much of the tri-state will be able to see and hear the cicadas for the next two months. Eyewitness News' Mike Pickett has the latest on the sightings and what to expect. You couldn't hear much in some parts of Ohio County today outside of birds or traffic passing in the distance. But some tri-staters say they can already hear the brood X cicadas. It's annoying, <laughs> which I think I've already heard some. But Bob Wilson thought he heard some near his home northwest of Hartford Sunday night. He was hearing was sitting on the back porch and uh, down there and uh, we kept hearing something. and. Uh, so they, it's possible they're here. Other residents in Ohio County, along with Davis and Perry County, say they're starting to see the cicadas emerge, and they have the pictures to prove it. Some U.K. Extension Office agents around the tri-state say they haven't got any reports from residents, but those in Henderson and Hancock County say they've gotten a few. While residents in Ohio County are already reporting seeing and hearing the cicadas, U.K. College of Agriculture, Food and Environment officials say they're more likely to appear bordering Tennessee and in counties along the Ohio River. We'll see some in Ohio County as well, but not probably not as many as you get closer to the river. Purdue University Extension officials say the cicadas will appear all over the Hoosier State, while University of Illinois officials say those surfaced in East Central Illinois counties. Greg Comer of the UK Extension Office in Hartford says Kentucky's statewide numbers won't be large, but the insects could still be making their presence known in the Commonwealth most of the summer. We may see a few of them still merge, uh, as they call them stragglers, even through July and August, but the biggest numbers will be May and June. In Ohio County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.